let's see. I know I know uh, this next story Sarah would have been very passionate about. Um, an anti-console scalping ban bill has been pushed forward in the UK by Parliament member Douglas Chapman. The bill, known as the Gaming Hardware uh, Automated Purchase and Resale Bill uh, for 2019-21, is aimed to ensure that consumers can purchase consoles at no more than the manufacturer's recommended price, and that resale of goods purchased by automatic bots be made illegal. Um... I don't, I don't know if there's like too much to say on here. I think we all widely agree that like, yeah, fuck scalpers, especially mm-hmm. ones using bots where you don't even have a fucking chance to mm-hmm. get a system. Though I would, I would like to take a, another look at that bill because I kind of don't trust these type of bills when it comes from like the UK. These type of bills usually have some. The US even. I mean the US, but I mean like. Well, for what it's worth, in well, the, um, in in the, the US would store, even. They wouldn't propose a bill like this in the U.S. because it, it, it was outwardly it was outwardly good. Um, um, this bill actually feel, benefits the common man. We can't put that in our legal system. <laughs> but it, it always feels like with the UK, with the UK stuff, there's always like it looks good, except if you think of it like this, then it actually ruins everything. So I like to double check that. But overall, I, I get it. Hmm though as somebody sitting with multiple things that a lot of people really tried hard to get um uh <laughs> <laughs> that ps5 story is a, is a goddamn legend though uh, for what it's worth story uh f- oh the me and mesa waiting outside yeah, of target yes. you and mesa going out to yeah the I, w- I was thinking about it the other day and oh, i look, I look I would, at it and chuckle I, every time we we were so fucking anxiety ridden like if we had showed up like 10 minutes before before like those people took Mm -hmm. off like we just got in that like super specific window where they dipped and then we had claimed to be the first people there oh god especially towards the end of the night and the ladies were getting real pissed off at us Mm -hmm. it was a a, a small mom they have a way of getting what they want (laughs) i know mesa was uh Mesa was looking pretty down. I had to put on like a fake facade of like, I'm, I'm confident we're going to get this. Let me reassure you, buddy. We got this. We got this. But still, I was like, oh, fuck, dude. I'm tired. I haven't eaten. I need to piss. This this is not good. If we don't get it, I'm going to go home and cry. <laughs> you, have to be, you have to be ready to not caring out to get what you need. Yeah. Like, I, I just stood firm by like the facts of the situation. I wasn't trying to like get in anyone's face. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um go, go, going back to the bill at least um the ign reports uh put forth that um they don't actually expect the bill to go through this is more i don't I don't mean to use the word posturing in a negative light but it's posturing to like get the idea into the um public conscious yeah. which i think is good at, at the least get it in the ether yeah yeah and because because okay. like, like i think there's I think it might have been like Zombie Kills over on Twitter. Like she was saying that there is a benefit to scalping for like people are like look that are having a tough time economically, especially now with um with COVID and everything in the lockdown. So so if someone manages to get their hands on extra PS5 by like waiting in line at like one in the morning or whatever, um, like bills gotta be paid. Like at the end of the day, games aren't that fucking serious. Um someone pay, you know pay rent be able to put food on their table especially if they have kids i would say that takes uh, precedent but for like the people just using fucking bots online and super inflating the price that's that's fucked up i don't think there's really any real way to justify like that specifically i mean and i will say like i get i mean i i i agree with zombies um perspective on that if that is what she said um I would have to look it up. I'm, that's probably paraphrasing, but yeah, 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 I think but, it's to the well, extent of that. Well, then let me put it this way. I don't want to dis because I don't know if that's what she said. So I'm not going to just say that I disagree with her um, based on what you literally said to me. I mean, everybody wants to imagine a situation where it's like, yeah, it's just this poor downtrodden person who's doing what they need to survive, like a Sean Valjean situation. <laughs> but a, most of the time, it they're is. They're not dropping $500. To get most lucky to get a PS5, yeah. Yeah, most of the time when someone scalps a PS5 or, or a console in general or a game, they're doing it because they just want some extra money and they don't really give a shit. 
I mean, I'm not saying that that doesn't happen. I'm not saying that there isn't someone out there that, like, bought a PS5, waited in line, and was like, man, I could actually flip this for, like, a hundred more and feed myself and my family. I'm not saying that that person doesn't exist. I'm just doubting that that is, that is the more common version than it's usually shitheads online. Busting mm-hmm. it up. Yeah, um, I think I think with like the overwhelming majority of those cases, it comes with, like a giant grain of salt. Yeah. Also, but. just scalping in general is still shit. I, I'm sorry. Even if yeah, you, there's if, just there's there's no there's no view of reality where you can come off the good guy. <laughs> yeah, it really isn't. I mean, unless you're like buying them with bots and you're giving them out for like half price like if you're yeah, like yeah. robin hood or some mm-hmm. shit okay you know i'm gonna I am, i'm gonna toot my own horn for a second i've always said to myself that like if i got to a point where i had like just mega disposable income one of the things i would want to do is buy graded games that like have no reason to be graded like right like when i saw graded resident evil 2 for dreamcast or resident evil for sega saturn like i would want to buy these games at whatever the cost was crack them open and if i didn't want them for myself actually like sell them again on the market but for what they should be sold at not like fucking five thousand dollars for this game that nobody can even play because it's sealed in a plastic case like Mm -hmm. whatever it is like two hundred dollars a hundred dollars whatever the fair actual value would be and just do that a bunch and like try to like de-inflate the gaming collector's also, mm-hmm. just because I love seeing people get really, really mad, like, why are you opening that collector's item? It's like, because I want to play it, dipshit. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. From, from the chat, at least, we have, um, I think I'm pronouncing this right, Alamino uh, says they, they purchased a scalped PS4 and they had no problem with it. They wanted it and they were willing to pay the price, um, which I previously responded with. I'm glad that they're happy with the price for it, that they're happy with their purchase. Um, but, but so much in response to the availability to you know, like the overinflated price for the ps5 um they bring up the points that um and i think it's valid to an extent um that it, it's just a matter to quote them it's just a matter of letting the people at stockpile and try to sell them uh, and wait for the supply to increase and they'll just be forced to sell for cheap i i think that would be the ideal scenario where these people um oh, yeah. get shorted on their money because mm-hmm. I, I, I yeah, yeah whatever fuck those people um but unfortunately i don't believe that's going to be the scenario where they are going to sell through their supply especially with yeah. how, how um supplier strained um covid has made everything no i mean mm-hmm. you're right the way it's all been going down you're 100% right. like just like just, just silicon down, silicon in general has just been 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 hard to get this so far so like yeah it's 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 been rough join the uh join the target squad be there at like two in the morning <laughs> no, it's, no, no, no. it sucks so bad well, you say silicone you say silicone's hard to get so i'm just sitting here like listen folks we need your silicone we need it <laughs> we don't have a way to get it go into your parents room look at the box underneath the mattress <laughs> send it in to, to insert a dress here we will melt it down and we will use it for whatever we're going to use it for but please please think of us we need that silicone <laughs> uh let's see um, watch a televangelist actually try that at some point now that i've just said it and put it in the ether oh absolutely <laughs> 